Got another AKM 47 here, mini AKM 47. This is a great blaster. I know most of you are familiar with AKM 47. It's really one of the first ones that was available. A well proven blaster, though it has gone through a couple iterations where it had some issues um, when the battery type was switched. However, those all appear to be addressed now. And so I'm going to showcase this one here from the brand Duomi, D U O M Y. Of course, the link should be in the description, and you can find this one on Amazon. So what it comes down to with these AKM 47s a lot of times is the price, the design, if you like how it looks, and the accessories that are included, because in theory, they are pretty much all the same blasters. Okay, so this is just one of those. If you get a good deal on it or you like the extra gel beads, then this would be the one you'd want to go with. So let's check out the contents of it here of the box and kind of put it together while we go. These are very simple, straightforward blasters, so pretty easy, quick video. Obviously, they give you some safety glasses. Make sure you guys are wearing some sort of eye protection, right? We go over that each time. We've got your battery right here, 1200 mAh, 7.4 volts. So it's nice they give you a 1200 mAh. That's a good run time. Uh, these blasters are nice that they shoot really fast and they actually shoot typically pretty hard. So that's good too. This is the four pin connection here. So your four pin charger, four pin battery, just the one connection for both charging and the blaster. Um, when initially this model was switched over to the four pin, some manufacturers were having issues. However, I've confirmed with Duomi, they do not, they're not seeing that at all. This is consistently working like it should. So you should not see any problems with the blaster. And the issue wasn't the battery or this connection. It was actually something inside the blaster that was changed as well. So they've addressed that, uh, which is great. So then it should be a very reliable, probably one of the most reliable top loading blasters out there. So of course, charge that up when you get it. It's gonna be charged partially, but it's best to just top it off. Um, this one does appear that it's gonna light up when it's charging, and then it will, the light will either turn solid green or the light will turn off. It really varies, and I don't think that you'll consistently get the same even across the same sellers, so that's why I don't typically talk to that every time. Gel beads, they give you 40,000, so that's nicer than some, right? They give you a good amount of gel beads. You don't see it often more than that, so that's great. You get um, four packs of 5,000 blue, four packs of 5,000 orange, so nice mix there. And of course, you don't have to use a whole packet at once. Um, a 5,000 pack takes about four liters of water in quite a large container if you are going to do it, and then just make sure that they have plenty of room, plenty of water, and then give them four to six hours, of course. After that time, should be water left over and room left over. Then you can be sure they got the seven to eight millimeters. They can't get too big. Just drain them off and you can go ahead and store them for a couple weeks in airtight containers. And you could certainly store them in the hopper with the lid on it. Of course, never store any in the blaster when it's not in use. Um, bracket, which we'll put on here. And battery is really it when it comes to setting it up, right? So pop the door here. This door was not tight at all. Occasionally people with AKMs get a really tight tab. Um, that has happened to me, but rarely. Most of the time, it should be no issue with a thumbnail to be able to pop that open. If there is any sort of problem, just take a flathead screwdriver and after the, and you know gently pop it open. After a few times, you shouldn't have any issues with that. These battery compartments are typically plenty, have plenty of room to go battery, and then just kind of fold the harness on top. And then just put the door back on, just click back in place. So we'll test it out, on off button right here, trigger. All right, so also works as the safety. Now your bracket is gonna slide on here. You can push it till it locks in place. Hard to see on camera, but it's definitely lined up and locked in place. Don't take the brackets off and on. No benefit in that at all, except that you're going to loosen the bracket. And then that may affect performance when you're running around. It may start to move slightly. Our two screws right here, if you do ever need to tighten it slightly, you can go ahead and just tighten those with a Phillips screwdriver. But either way, I would never take it off and on, take it off and on just gonna cause problems. Of course, it's gravity fed. Your blaster is going, your um, hopper is just going to screw on right there. Uh, I already have a hopper partially full of gel beads. Flip the blaster upside down, spin your hopper on, you're ready to go. So again, pretty straightforward, well-proven. Um, 
definitely good performing blaster, especially for the price, great value. So we'll test it, make sure it's still shooting like we expect a mini AKM 47 should. And of course, um, see what kind of FPS we're at with it. So check them out, Duo Me AKM 47 or mini AKM 47 on Amazon. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, participate in the giveaways. Thanks for the support. All right, the AKM 47, pretty much the original gel ball blaster to show up on Amazon, to show up in the United States. Um, lots of different companies making them now, different brands. This one's from Duomi. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot it. This has the four pin battery connection, which seemed to have some issues in some manufacturers, but apparently that's all been resolved. So there's not supposed to be a problem with them. There was a problem with the, the trigger switch inside failing on those, but it sounds like that's been addressed and taken care of. So we'll shoot this one here. We'll test the FPS. I expect we'll see, you know, maybe close to 150. That's the highest I've seen with these, but usually they have a really nice fire rate and a pretty decent FPS. So let's see what we got. All right, so it's shooting pretty nice. Let's see what kind of power we got going. So it had some highs uh, at 150, um, but then it was pretty consistently around 140. So I'd say a 140 FPS on it. Again, it's from Duomi on Amazon. The link is in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe, and of course participate in the giveaways and tell your friends about my channel. Thanks.